Unless you and Joshua have it. I think Joshua's right. We should fight the wet legs. No. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the sorrows don't need to butcher the white legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. Um, and you have the right to pull them off their land? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now me and Joshua are going to go do the sensible thing. Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs' leader, Salt Upon Wound and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the white legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. Let's do it. God be with you. Hell yeah. And now, we have to go all the way over there. And that's it. No extra quests, no nothing. Just killing a bunch of white legs. <clears throat> and having fun doing it. <clears throat> God damn, losing my voice. Yeah, this is what you do. You basically walk through the river, across the valley, to kill a motherfucker. Oh shit. Blam. Well, I guess Joshua's having fun down there. Fighting with a fucking melee weapon like an idiot. And while he does that, I'm gonna go be a sensible person. Go in. Murder a bunch of damn white legs. They're being a bunch of dicks. How's my armor holding up? Wow. Full condition. Hells yeah. We did a lot of drugs just because we need to be fast. We need to be able to kill these guys.
Alright, we're good. I don't know where Joshua is. Having a circle jerk in the back. I don't know why. Oh, no. Is that him? Yeah. Yeah, no. How about you use your freaking regular weapons? Yeah, no. Okay, yeah. No thanks. I'm just gonna pistol whip everybody because I'm too much of a fucking badass to, you know, maybe just shoot some people. No, I gotta fucking prove myself. Dick. Shoot this asshole in the mouth. Watch this. One. Two. Like a boss. Oh shit. Hi there. Look at that ass. You wish you had an ass that perfect. Oh! Oh shit. Mr. Shish Kebab wants to fight now. Dude. Really? Idiot. I have a gun. You have a melee weapon. You're gonna lose. Mother ever tell you not to bring a gun to a knife fight? Or a knife to a gunfight? Maybe you probably should have listened to her, but you probably raped and killed her, so... You know. That's your bad, not mine. Oh, a place I haven't discovered. Must discover. It's probably the Three Marys, but, you know. <clears throat> oh my god, I need more AP rounds. Or AP. Oh, motherfucker killed by a tomahawk. He has healing powder. Lol. Oh shit. Hi there! Goodbye! Shot you right in the afro. Not afro, dreadlocks. Durr her her. Hi there. Well, that doesn't feel good, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, two places I can discover. Missed. And now they know I'm here. I just got a tomahawk to the dick. Hi there. I'd very much like to shoot you in the mouth. There we go. Yeah. Let me have your anti-material rifle. You're a little boy. You shouldn't be having toys like that. Imagine what your mother would say. She's going to ground you so hard. 
playing with big weapons. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. Alright, here we are, three mirrors. This is where it gets hairy. Also, there's a lot of traps, too, so it's very, very dangerous. There's also a lot of fridges around here. A lot of random containers. I do remember that. Alright. Be very, very quiet. White legs. Oh, is that waking cloud? No, it's not. Still. Hi there. Hello. We're here. All right, we're back. And there's Joshua with his sweet ass snakeskin boots and that cool. Middle Eastern inspired outfit with the wraps. It's really, un it's really unbecoming of you. Really, I, I love it. Welcome back. What can I do for you? You look like a Middle Eastern woman, except you have bandages, not a burqa. Uh, what did you say about a courier? Who were you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins to come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. I've met Kaisar, you know. What do you think he would say if I told him you were here? I think that would put him and you in a difficult position. Caesar has agents looking for me, but he won't admit I'm alive. And even if you killed me, he can't acknowledge that. To do so would be to admit I had never died. That Caesar made a mistake. <laughs> No. He lives by his lies and shall die by his lies. There is no escaping it. Nope. <clears throat> um. There's some gear that needs repairs. Let me have a look. So. Oh, you do this all for good prices, too. 72,000 caps? Holy shit! You have a r repair skill of 100. Good. What do you know of salt upon wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me, I know the godless fire that burns in his heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No, he likes to have a hand in it, that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. Um, pray God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Sounds like a good deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow. Man, my frames are no fluctuating like crazy. They fall. <clears throat> do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Follows Chalk seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. 
I thought he might. It's been some time since I've visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? You know what me that means? I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? Follows Chalk needs more guidance in his life. Just not from me. Um, can I ask you some personal questions? It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no. There's nothing you can do. <coughs> we don't use cams. But I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. Um, do you have anything to trade? Do you run the show around here? I wouldn't <clears throat> say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Do you have anything to trade? We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Well, thank you very much. FMJ obsolete, I'll take that. That, that. Take the... What else you got? Wow, you got a lot of good stuff, my friend. Um, casings and honors. Thank you. And I may sell you this, this, and uh, that. And uh, outfits. Excuse me. Leather belt. All my cigarettes. Pre-war money. Thank you, Joshua. Can I ask you some personal questions again? It's not something. <clears throat> what do you know about the war between Kaisar and NCR? I try not to involve myself with matters of the Mojave anymore. <laughs> All I know is from before the Battle of Hoover Dam. Uh, do you know about Mr. House? I had heard of him, but when we were preparing to enter the Mojave, he didn't seem relevant to what was happening. <coughs> From what I've learned since Hoover Dam, he handled the Mojave tribes in a fashion not entirely dissimilar from Caesar. It's too bad. Uh, okay. What do you know about the war between blah blah blah? What do you think of NCR? Better than Caesar, but that's not a high standard. Too much love of <coughs> money and ownership. Not enough love of God and giving. Any society that derives its power and authority from the will of man alone lives apart from God and will crumble in the end. Mm-hmm. Were you always with the New Canaanites? I was born in Ogden, what people came to call New Canaan. Things were more peaceful when I was growing up. When I was a young man, I went out into the world to do missionary work, as all New Canaanites do. I traveled along the Long Fifteen and followed 89 South into Arizona. Along the way, I met two men from a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse. Edward Sallow and Bill Calhoun. They came to teach the tribes. Calhoun was a good man. Edward was the one who got us Calhoun. on the road. South Carolina gov government. Er, governor. He got hung. But this was back in like the 1800s, so don't even worry about that. Was one of those men's Kaisar? No, not then. <clears throat> Back then he was just Edward. Smart man. Young, but we all were. <coughs> we thought we could hike into the Grand Canyon and talk to Blackfoots. <clears throat> we did. And the Blackfoots were friendly enough at first. But eventually. 
I've thought back to that day so many times. <clears throat> I must have mistranslated. Something must have been mixed up, because the Blackfoots decided we weren't going to leave. The rest is history, assuming Edward hasn't changed it. How'd you end up as Kaisar's legate? This way lies the path to hell. Ed Caesar needed me to translate. Translation became giving orders. Giving orders became leading in battle. Leading in battle became training, punishing, terrorizing. A series of small mistakes before a great fall. And I stayed in that <clears throat> darkness until after Hoover Dam. After I failed Caesar and he had me burned alive, thrown into the Grand Canyon. How did you survive? I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. The next morning, I woke up and crawled out of the northern edge of the Grand Canyon, that cursed place. It took me three months to reach New Canaan. It was as though the prodigal son had returned. They welcomed me like I had never <coughs> heard. Never done anything to shame them. The fire that had kept me alive was love. Their love. God's love. I will never be able to repay the debt I owe to them. But I must try. God be with you. Okay, so, as I was saying... I may not be a religious man, but this DLC is good. I don't mind all the religious stuff in this DLC. The religious undertones and all that stuff, you know. Don't really mind it, believe it or not. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a... The only religion I identify myself with is spiritualism. And I'm talking about not the modern day, you know, smoke weed and, you know, help people and all that shit. No. I don't identify with that, I identify with, um, the old, um, my god, how do you say it, Native American spiritualism, that Mother Earth gives us things, we're grateful for it, we celebrate it, and that's it. That's what I believe in. But hey, you know. Oh, I was gonna try to walk all the way to the Dead Horses Camp? Yeah, that's stupid. If I tried to walk there, that'd just be like... That would just be the most retarded thing ever. Literally. Battle! Oh, they're going hunting. <clears throat> what can I tell you? I talked to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea, and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Um, civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should go see it for yourself. Really? You think so? Whew. I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Lol. No problem, follows Chalk. What can I tell you? Maybe you can... No, you can't. You can't follow me. Damn it, I want him to come with me on an adventure. Son of a bitch. Wait, is there any places... Okay, so we're at the Dead Horses camp, right? Is there any other, like... Quests? Are there no other quests that I can do, or... Is this it? I was like, I'm gonna check the Fall of New Vegas wiki for Honest Hearts, and I'll be right back.